And just like that, we've reached the final week of the high school football regular season. And Shane right here with my teammate Yanni Karakis for the final regular season edition of Football Friday. We're coming to you Thursday this week, Yanni, because Hurricane Helene had some things to say about yeah, that. Yeah, FHSAA extending the regular season a week after Hurricane Helene forced multiple postponements. A number of games from that week being played tonight in what's essentially week 12 of the regular season. And some important games needed to be made up, including our game of the week, Park Vista at Santa Luz, in a game that settles the 7-8 District 13 title and automatic bid to the playoffs. Yeah, Santa Lucia's at 3-0 in the District, Park Vista 2-1. These two always play a close game. They did so last year. The Chiefs have averaged 70 points a game in their three-game winning streak, but offense anything but effective, at least in the first half. Quarterback Chris Siska, first play from scrimmage picked off by the Cobras, William West. Santa Lucia is down 3-0. They finally get a positive play. Siska to Jamie Simmons, who just flies down that sideline, gets down inside the 10-yard line of Park Vista. But that play is called back for a penalty. Two plays later, Siska intercepted again. This time it's Beandre Charles. Chiefs would make a change at QB. Park Vista with a chance to go up two scores in the red zone. But Jackson Marconi's pass to the end zone for Chad Garrell falls incomplete. They have to settle for a field goal. Park Vista led 6-0 at half, but St. Lucia's got the offense going in the second half. Chiefs go on to win 35-13, claiming the district title. They're heading back to the playoffs. Two proud programs having down seasons as 3-6 and six Dwyer plays at 2-7 and seven at Palm Beach Gardens. Gators going for back-to-back -back wins, though. Gardens with a 7-0 lead in the first quarter. Looking for more here. Alonzo Reese takes the handoff and just willing his way through the defense. Look at this, busting through tackles. Give Gardens a first down. Same drive, Jordan Johnson. The screen pass to Wolford Kaku. Looked like Dwyer was bringing pressure, so it's the perfect play at the right time. Kaku makes his way across the field. He'll end up in the end zone for the touchdown. 14-0 Gardens. Gators will get the ball back, but this time the pressure gets to Johnson. And watch this, right before his knee goes down, Dante DeSantis heads up play, strips the ball, takes it away. Nobody's sure what happened, but DeSantis says, look, ref, I, I got the ball. He says, yes, you do. First down, Dwyer. Ensuing drive, Coden Brown takes a snap. Nice fake here and scampers his way in for the Dwyer touchdown. Dwyer not going to end up on the winning side as they fall to Palm Beach Gardens tonight. All right, with their number one ranking in our top 10 poll, West Boca hosting Royal Palm to wrap up their regular season. First quarter, Mason Mallory swings it out to Jacory McCrary. Look at end zone is hit just shy of the goal line. Moments later, Mallory rolling out, hits Mark Hannaford. Bulls take the 7 0 lead. How about some defense? Wildcats QB Max Griner pressured his pass, intercepted by Damon Allen, and he's going to go the other way. That is a pick six. Bulls up 14-0. Ensuing kickoff. Royal Palms Demetrius Roll takes the ball at the two. And do the math. 98 yards later, kickoff return touchdown. Suddenly we have a ball game 14-7. But on the next kickoff, moments later, it's Kyle Andrews receiving it at the four. And he says, oh, we're taking kicks or touchdowns. How about this? 96 <laughs> yards to the house. Meanwhile, the West Boca offense kept cooking Trey Moran to Zacharias Walls for the touchdown. West Boca caps off an undefeated regular season, 48 to seven. They are playoff ready. Number five, Palm Beach Central, one of the hottest team in our air right now, riding a seven game win streak and with just one loss on the season. The Broncos already a 7A District 12 wrapped up as they play at Palm Beach Lakes to finish out their regular season. That's right, the Rams coming off their second win of the season, a blowout over Sun Coast at home last week. I always loved that Palm Beach Lakes band. Big central lead in the third, though. They add to it. Chance Rotson rolling out and buying time. Throws across his body. You're not supposed to do that, but somewhere behind the traffic, Mattis Gibson makes a catch for the touchdown. It's 41-6 central. Next Bronco possession, Rotson has offers from FAU and UMass and finds a wide open Preston Parker. Nobody around him. An easy touchdown. And things getting ugly for Lakes. Down 47-6. It got worse for the Rams. Julian Ayala, quick pass to Kamari Williams. The Arkansas commit picking up some yak yards before being taken down. First down Broncos and the Central will cap off the drive with a short touchdown run here. Broncos get the blowout win 54 to 6. Coming up after the break, both Boca and Jupiter try to wrap up impressive regular seasons and a lot more when Football Friday returns.
Just a single blemish on Boca High's record this year, I'm also a talented Cardinal Newman squad, or Cardinal Gibbons squad, that is the other Cardinal down in Fort Lauderdale. Other than that, so far, eight win season for the Bobcats. And a win tonight over John I. Leonard gets Boca their most wins in almost a decade. Yeah, Boca the number nine team on our football Friday top 10 list, and Lancer is just one win this year. A 37-6 Bobcat lead in the third. Javen Taylor takes a hand up and the freshman can move. Bounces to the outside across midfield for a big game. You finally get pushed outside, inside the 40-yard line. Boca not overthinking things. They give it right back to Taylor. Opposite side gets some good blocking here. This time he's going to end up in the end zone. A Boca touchdown. They're all over John Eye tonight, 44-6. to Somerset Canyons looking to end their regular season on a high note, hosting Palm Glades Prep in town for Miami. Up 34-0, letting the defense secure the win in the second half. Wilzard Sterling gets to the quarterback, one of many sacks for him on the night. In fact, moments later, Sterling again with a sack, and with that, he becomes the single season sack record holder for the entire Somerset Canyons program. Congrats to Wilzard. That's for the offense. Chow Santos on the carry, knee just down at the one yard line. So they're going to get it, right? Well, a high snap enables Palm Blades to get the turnover. All good. Somerset Canyons. Cruises to the 34 0 win. They'll receive their postseason fate tomorrow. Our community ambassador Mike Lyons uh, with this week's community champion, Jupiter Principal Dr. Carlene Ayaniti. As a Warriors host, Wellington Ayaniti, meaning so much to that Jupiter campus, plans on retiring soon. They say she will be missed. To the game now, no score in the first quarter. It's going to be Andrew Ambick. Uh, throw it to a wide open Reese Hall and make some nice move here. Uh, picks up a first down, sets up Jupiter nicely across the 20-yard line. They finish off the drive with a short touchdown run by Christopher Van Horn. Warriors finish off a 9-1 regular season with a 55-6 win. Coach Cradman has those boys playing well. All right, time now for our play of the week, and it's a double whammy. Not one, but two kickoff returns for touchdowns on back-to-back -back plays. First from Royal Palm Beach's Demetrius Roll, 98 yards, and then... As we showed you earlier, West Boca's Kyle Andrews responds with a 96-yard return for touchdown. How about the West Boca getting a special teams defensive and plenty of offensive touchdowns in a 48-7 win? They are a tough out in the playoffs. So the scoreboard, Boynton Beach wrapping up their season with a 44-14 win at Northeast. Atlantic secures a district championship with a 34-25 win over Coconut Creek. Garcia getting shut out by Dillard in Fort Lauderdale, 30 to nothing, but a fantastic regular season for the Dogs in year two of that program. And after winning the Mug Bowl, Glade Central suffering its first loss of the season at Bishop Verut in Fort Myers, 32 to six the final.